jumped out of my dreams Pretty eyes so wise and pristine I couldn't ask for more than the day you came to my door Open eyes cause I couldn't believe That you were right in front of me Feeling pushed right through my heart Fireworks lit right from the start Got me on cloud nine all right, guys, I promised to do a follow-up. I know a number of you were asking about this. Um, this is the Cuisinart um, dual burner gas grill. I just recently cleaned it up. It had some discoloration on the top here from using it. And uh, also, <laughs> we were in Tennessee one time, and it rained, and I didn't get to it right away. And um, it got a little bit of rust on it. But I used a mild abrasive on it, and it did clean up pretty nice. Uh, you can see there that there's still a little bit of discoloration. and um, I did leave some of the grease on here just so I could show you guys. I do need to clean that. Um, that's also what it looked like um, before I used the cleaner. Anyway, uh, I've got this hooked up to our camper with a line that goes right into our camper. And it's regulated in the camper, not from the regulator that came with the grill. Anyway, you guys, if you've been watching our videos, you'll probably have seen us on our camping trips using this a number of times. So far, it has worked out fantastic. It has been my favorite camping grill that I've ever owned. I've got it heated up right now, full blast. It's over 700 degrees in there, so you can really sear things very good. And I've also used it to do indirect heating, cooking, uh, put the meat in or whatever I'm cooking in the center here, turn the burners down, or just use one side and then put put the product over here works very good cooks chicken great steak great um, and as a matter of fact I'm getting ready to throw a uh, New York strip and a couple of filet mignons on there this evening uh, that's about it uh, the only thing I could say negative about it was the discoloration uh, that it did have some people have complained about some of the parts inside rusting um, have not really had any issues with that uh, I do keep it clean uh, I will take everything apart and brush it down with this brush here. Um, but anyway, yeah, I like it. The locks work good. Uh, one thing I have had an issue with, you see these screws right here. Uh, they are held in place with a lock nut, and that lock nut has come off a couple of times, so I do keep a spare. Uh, and I do frequently tighten these up. They're, that's for the legs to fold down, and we do put it into the uh, front part of the basement of our... Uh, of our fifth wheel here uh, anyway um, uh, the temperature control like I said it's up to 700 degrees right now um, sometimes you really got to turn it down uh, otherwise you can't really get down the lower temperature cooking um, we do have a valve on this uh, hose that I can use and I do from time to time turn that down a little bit and that also helps to control the heat on the uh, the grill itself anyway highly recommend this grill um, it definitely produces the heat to cook. There's no doubt about it. As you can see, I'm able to get some pretty good sear marks on these steaks. Thanks for watching, guys. If you're new to the channel, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell to get notified of new videos when they become available. Thanks for watching.